Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I want to say, uh, hope you uh, are liking my videos. And, um, uh, hope you guys are subscribing to my channel so I can keep you updated on all the, uh, die casts that I got coming up. This one right here is a 2022 Kevin Harvick Next Gen race winner. This is, uh, his number four Bush Light Apple Michigan win. I pre-ordered this one, like I said, back in 2022, and I just got this one, plus another one I'm going to show you in the next video. Uh, I got this one about a month ago, and I want to show you how this one is. I'm going to try to compare it to the cars that Action had years ago, and kind of show you, you know, my likes and dislikes about these cars. Um, I, I like the diecast cars, it's just... A lot of the uh, stuff that they could be doing to make them look better and stuff like that. The more detailed stuff, I would think. But we're going to open this up somewhat all the way. And I'm going to show you everything there is about this car. Sometimes they make them kind of uh, a little bit tough to get open. A little bit. I don't want to destroy them. Anything like that. Uh... Try to do it anyhow. Get that to come open. Open that part. I'm gonna show you everything that they come with. Got, the, got this plastic part. It comes out to protect the car. And you got these little some paperwork on here that I'm gonna show you. You have Right there tells you, Kevin Harvick, Fire, Fire Keepers, Casino 400 winner, August 7, 2022, Brooklyn, Michigan. And if you tells you about the race, how long it was. Uh, if you want to pause the video and read all that, you could. It's okay. It comes with a sticker here. Let me show you. Checker flag sticker, so every time they want to race, they sticker stickers right up here. Be like just right along here. And this also comes with some other stuff. Build your own virtual garage. <clears throat> and a RC RCCA Lionel Racing Customer Service Center card. You know, if you want to return it, if you're not happy with it, which I'm not going to return it because I am happy with it. So yeah, here we go. These are the uh, next gen cars. <clears throat> like I said before, you know, it's a win race version. Um, the kind of things that I don't like about these cars is, like I said before, the body is all die cast, the whole body. Um, when you take these things off the plastic base... The underneath, which I can't really show you, but I really don't want to take it, you know, unscrew it off or anything like that. But the uh, whole underneath, which is the engine, the body inside, or not the body, but the engine, the inside, it's all one molded piece of plastic. Um, it's not like it, you know, was put together separately and the row cages and all separate. It's all basically one piece, all molded in one color. Um... I mean, you do have this in here that's that's painted black. You got these little computers that you can see, but it's all molded in the same color. Um, got tells you what number it is: 139 out of uh, like 200 and something, I believe it was. No, 1248. So out of 1248, this is 139. So this is pretty low number. It's not too bad. It's not like one or two, but it's pretty good um, the roof flaps do come up <clears throat> and the trunks don't open on these on the regular regular cars um, if you get the more expensive ones these actually do open up which I don't have any but I know they do um, let's get the uh, new tires The exhaust comes out there. I 
and get the front of it. Which is all. This is all painted in you know basically one one piece. It's not a actual metal grate or anything like that. The only thing, you know, about this car, <clears throat> which I just don't really understand, and I know it's a race version of one, but there's no confetti on it or anything. It's almost like uh, they didn't have much confetti in that race at the end. But, you know, I guess sometimes it happens. You don't have much confetti. Usually the cars are just covered in confetti. Let's go ahead and try to open up the hood. So if you look at it, like, like I said, the whole engine's all molded together with uh, the rest of the body. I mean, they do have uh, the underneath sponsor stuff on there. But, yeah, if you look at them, if you ever get one of these cars, it's just all molded together, which I don't understand why they did that for. Because I know they're trying to save money and everything, but still, you want to make good quality cars, you know, keep them, keep all your cars at the same quality. You don't just do some you know and then have two different two different kinds of cars and just do good job in one car and half half job on the other car but these are still good cars you know i still like them they're kind of a little pricey at about 75 bucks a piece but i don't buy hundreds of these kinds from lionel all the time i usually just get a couple of them here and there and that's it so there you have it <clears throat> there you go, the uh, Michigan race version from 2022 of Kevin Harvick. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe again, and we'll see you in the next video. Be safe out there. Have fun. Bye.